hi guys welcome to another vlog please excuse this morning face and this morning voice might i add um but this is my travel face because today i'm off to japan it's for a holiday and going with my parents and i'm going to meet them there and um yes yeah, so i'm going to vlog it i don't know if it's going to be in like two, more than one part two parts not sure depends on how many things i get up to really and i'm not sure because we don't really have a fixed itinerary like we're just going to go with the flow kind of thing i've got like a unlimited travel pass so we'll see and i'm really really excited because i've never been to japan during sakura season which is now so i'm looking forward to seeing all the cherry blossoms in bloom and it's like spring and yeah hopefully the weather's nice over there and i'm also going to meet up with um jenny from she loves dresses we've known each other online for like years and years but we've never met obviously because we live like across the pond but yeah we're finally going to get the chance to meet so that's like what i'm most excited about to be honest but yeah i'll bring you guys along with me so um if i don't end up vlogging the plane journey because it's going to be like a long haul flight and everything oh i hope they have rogue one on the flight i think they do um i'll see you guys on the flip side Hello, so I haven't actually vlogged since I was on the plane I think but here I am in Tokyo Can you see these cool sliding panels? Very very Japanese um, We arrived yes no the day before yesterday but yesterday it was like torrential downpour the entire day so we really didn't do much except we got our rail passes sorted and all that stuff done so we can travel around now and today we're off to Ginza which is like a shopping district I'm gonna run you guys through my outfit as usual um, today I'm wearing another Rogue One shirt surprise surprise I will link the site I got it from down below in fact I'll link um, everything I've worn in Japan so, <laughs> so you guys can find everything in the description box below um, my jeans are from ASOS and then my belt is vintage and basically this is my outfit today yep and then what is Winky wearing? Hi! I'm wearing a jacket from uh, Rocket which is like quite vintage. Yeah it's a really cool vest. It's really cool. It's got pockets yeah. everywhere so yeah. basically I can just like put my stuff in there. And then that's it. <laughs> and then where's your t-shirt dress from? t-shirt is oh it's from Primark. Nice! Yeah. The cheapest nice. Times. And then your shoes? And then it's Converse. Converse. It's already like ripped everywhere. Converse. Okay, Yun. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a James Dinner jacket. Yeah, the bomber jacket. It's vintage, right? Yeah, it's vintage. And she got it because it reminded her of one that James Dean wore. Yeah. And, and then the shirt is James Dean. Yep. Yeah. And then was that a present or not? Yeah, it's a present from Emily. Nice. And then, and then the, the jeans are from H&M, right? Yeah, right? How how much was it? It was like. Three, three pounds, pounds in the sale. Yeah. yeah, they're really cool. Um, I think they're meant to be cropped, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then these shoes are what? Adidas. Are they Stan Smith? No, right? No, the it's, superstars. Um, superstar, the yeah. white superstars. Awesome. Oh, and I forgot to mention I'm gonna throw on this um, vintage shirt on top if it gets cold and breezy. But basically, I'm like a multicolored Hawaiian-ish sort of crazy surfer dude today. Sure. <laughs> like a quiet street to take some outfit shots for the vlog and now my parents we've lost them and they said they like sent a photo to me saying that's where they were but obviously I don't know Ginza and the surrounding area so I'm trying to locate that place and it's quite nice to get lost here actually because there's shops everywhere so we're kind of like sightseeing shopping getting lost and trying to find my parents simultaneously Yes, my hair was in the 
we got some authentic takoyaki and I haven't had um, real Japanese takoyaki since the last time I was in Japan which is probably like 10 years ago now so I'm really excited to eat this because I love takoyaki even like in London I love the takoyaki but it's so much better in Japan and you know how I said we were meant to be meeting our parents at the off place I totally like got sidetracked because there was a takoyaki stall right across the road so they're looking for me I'm not looking for them I'm about to tuck into this I just realized I forgot to explain what exactly takoyaki is. It basically uh, translates to like grilled octopus balls and it's um, flour on the outside and little pieces of octopus on the inside and then they sprinkle it with like, um, is this like fruit sauce? I think, yeah, fruit sauce, um, Japanese mayo and bonito flakes and it's really good. Um, but I find that the ones in London, they're really stingy with the octopus but look at the ones in Japan, it's basically like all octopus inside. Yum yum yum. Doraemon on it. So I think they've got the example here. That's what it looks like. So you literally turn into Doraemon. There's some other ones here too, but I'm not sure if these Japanese characters. Oh, there's a minion. Tiger. I think there's Betty Boop. But um, there's Kabuki ones too, the Japanese dolls. And then Tiger one, is that a raccoon? Nightmare Before Christmas. And basically I want all of them. It's like, you know how face, the white face masks are already so, so freaky, but this one will make you extra. Is this a Salem Moon bath bomb? It says O egg. Look, but this thing looks like a bath bomb. navigating the metro with our Suica cards which is like the um, Japanese equivalent of the Oyster card in London and today we're off to Shibuya I'm gonna we're just gonna um, walk around the entire day and then in the afternoon I'm meeting up with my friend Jess who I haven't seen she's been my childhood friend when I lived in Australia so I'm gonna meet up with her there's a mirror so I'm gonna go through it um, I'm wearing earrings from ASOS and then just a t-shirt um, from sweatshopboys.bleepstores.com my jacket is All Saints and then got my Totoro backpack on which I got from I think it was Hyper Japan or some convention and then my American Apparel pleated skirt which I've had for years and then my new Gucci trainers Woo. Oh, 
Ali. And, um, if you've never seen her before, we were friends since high school. So that's like, we've been friends since maybe like 10 years, maybe more. We started in 2005. Oh my god, that's insane. So more than 10 years, but literally we haven't seen each other since we were in Perth, since I moved to London. Actually, I came you back were, on holiday. Yeah, you came to Tallinn Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we were there. Yeah, oh my god, and then now we're here at all places. This is where we really lied, in Japan. What's the name of this park again, guys? It's Yoyogi. 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 This is Yoyogi Park. Wow. Yogi Park now because it's about to close and what did you think Jess? It was good. We took it's a lot nice, of right? Photos. We did take a lot of photos together. Nice Beautiful scenery and um, yeah I don't know when I'm gonna see Jess next now because um, she's going home in like how many days are here? Um, two days. Two more days and then she's going home. She's leaving for Perth so I don't know when I'm gonna see her next maybe in another 10 years but I did tell her that she has to visit me in London. That's right. That's and, a problem. Yeah, and now there's like a direct flight um, from Perth to London, Qantas, so she has no excuse anymore. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go to um, Harry Potter World together. Yeah, she's not allowed to go until <laughs> I come to London. <laughs> exactly, there. I made a promise, guys, okay? Okay, say bye, Jess. You're never going to see them in 10 years. I'm going to see you. We're at Yashinoya for dinner, which is basically a beef bowl place that Winky told me about. Apparently, they have um, the branch in Indonesia as well. And um, this is what I got beef bowl, kimchi, and they've got egg as well. Oh, I feel like a strange thing for the egg. Let's try this out. Fancy. It's the hottest day ever today, it's 21 degrees and I feel so dehydrated, I feel like I'm going to faint so we're going to go with some dry sweats. before, it's the hottest day ever today, it's 21 degrees and we are lost yet again. This is the reality of travelling guys, I just don't know the way. Um, we got off at Shin, this is Shinjuku right? Yep. And we're going to meet um, my friend Jenny at Shinjuku Koen, which is a park, but I don't know where that is. So, city mapper to the rescue. Oh, I feel like 
I don't know, this is probably like my fifth vlog and I'm still hell nervous like talking to oh the camera. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love listening to your voice. Oh, thank you. I think we always look really good. Oh, I get it. <laughs> We're at the Panda Cafe. It's a character cafe. It's so cute. Look. Sure. Have a drink. Oh my god, look. This is a matcha latte. How cute is it? Yes. So excited. <laughs> to Yokohama to visit the Guretama Cafe and Guretama is like the little lazy egg mascot and I love him so much. Another quick OOTD for today's trip to Yokohama. I'm wearing space buns today just because I haven't washed my hair in so long and I got back home late last night so I couldn't be bothered washing that and then I am wearing the same star earrings from ASOS. My lip color is Masochist, uh, is that how you say it? Masochist, yep, by Jeffree Star. And uh, this top is from Monkey, and then I've just tucked it into the same jeans I wore on my first day, which are straight leg jeans from ASOS, and then wearing my Gucci trainers. Now we've come to visit Sojiji Temple, I think. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I will write it down here. And this is what it looks like around us, so let's explore. just got here to start exploring the temple and then my phone accidentally started playing Arja at full volume it was awkward to say the least hi Yun <laughs> morning trying to find the right platform and train but we're finally on the right train and we're about to leave for Kyoto it's gonna be like a two hour 45 minute ride so I think I might take a nap So this is Nara National Park and it's like a free public park, it's huge and the one thing about this park is the deers here just roam around free and the deers here have never been hunted before so they're like really friendly and they come up to you and we're just going to try and spot a few right now.
God, it's so sunny. But um, we're at Fushi Minari Shrine, and you might recognize this place actually because it's been featured in lots of movies. And I think this is in Memoirs of a Geisha. But let's check it out now. the background you have to make a wish and while you're making the wish you have to imagine the weight of the stone and then you lift the stone and if the stone is heavier than you thought it was when you're imagining it that means your wish will come true later but if it was lighter than it was then your uh, your wish will come true quicker and unfortunately it was heavier than I thought it was so <laughs> Also with all these fox statues, they're like um, bring good luck, they're meant to be messengers from God so they're all over this temple shrine area. same thing because I didn't pack a change of clothes to Kyoto but we are visiting Kinkakuji uh, temple which is uh, translates to the Golden Pavilion and it's one of the most popular tourist destinations in Kyoto and right now my dad was just telling me about these trees which are actually been stretched into shape that's how they make um, the shape like that. it's kind of like the bonsai trees that they grow like they've been trained to grow like that and so yeah that's how these trees are shaped pretty much which I didn't know before so that's kind of interesting whether this temple is actually made of gold and it's not it's basically just thin sheets of gold paper that they plastered on so if you look closely you can see the tiny little squares
headed to Ginkakuchi Temple, not to be confused with Kinkakuchi. This is the silver temple and the last one was the gold temple. three-hour train ride uh, back from Kyoto and I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here guys because tomorrow I'm heading back to London <sighs> another 11 hours on the train on the plane I mean and um, yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me to Japan for a week and I feel like it was too short really I wish I had more time to explore and see um, more of Japan but it was really good because I felt like I saw like the city life in Tokyo and also the countryside so that was really really good and getting to meet up with like Jess and Jenny was just amazing it was like highlight of my trip basically and um, yeah seeing the Sakura like coming here during cherry blossom season was really awesome I think next time I'd really love to visit more of the countryside too and um, yeah so um hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and please give it a thumbs up if you did and um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos and i'll see you guys in my next one bye